The Rape of the Lock is a mock heroic narrative poem written by Alexander Pope. Here's an overview. 1. Publication and Context First published anonymously in 1712, The Rape of the Lock is one of Pope's most famous works. The poem was inspired by a real-life incident involving the cutting of a lock of hair belonging to Arabella Fermor, a member of the English aristocracy. 2. Plot Summary the poem begins with a playful description of the events leading up to the cutting of Belinda's, Arabella Fermor's fictional counterpart, Lock of Hair by the Baron. Belinda's Lock of Hair is considered her most prized possession, and its loss causes a great deal of distress. The poem then humorously describes the supernatural machinations of sylphs and gnomes who protect and guard Belinda's beauty and belongings. A game of cards ensues, during which the Baron successfully cuts off Belinda's lock of hair. The poem ends with a reconciliation between Belinda and the Baron, symbolizing the restoration of social harmony. Book 3. Themes and Style The Rape of the Lock is a satirical exploration of the trivialities and vanities of high society, particularly the obsession with appearance and social status. Pope employs the mock heroic style, using grand language and epic conventions to elevate a seemingly trivial incident to epic proportions. The poem satirizes the conventions of epic poetry while also critiquing contemporary society, manners, and social mores. Characters Belinda, the central character, whose lock of hair is the focus of the poem. The Baron, Belinda's suitor, who cuts off her lock of hair in a moment of folly. Sylphs and gnomes, supernatural beings who protect and guard Belinda's beauty and possessions. Clarissa, Sir Plume, and other characters represent various aspects of aristocratic society and its values. 5. Legacy and Significance The Rape of the Lock is considered a masterpiece of English literature, showcasing Pope's wit, satire, and skillful use of language. The poem remains relevant for its exploration of human nature, social dynamics, and the tension between appearance and reality. It has been widely studied and analyzed for its literary and cultural significance, influencing subsequent generations of poets and writers. Overall, The Rape of the Lock is a satirical masterpiece that humorously critiques the foibles and frivolities of aristocratic society, while also offering insight into human nature and the human condition. Here are some one-liner question answers from The Rape of the Lock. 1. Who is the author of The Rape of the Lock? Alexander Pope. 2. When was The Rape of the Lock first published? 1712. 3. What inspired the poem? The cutting of a lock of hair belonging to Arabella Fermor. 4. Who is the central character of the poem? Belinda. 5. Who is Belinda's suitor? The Baron. 6. What supernatural beings protect Belinda's beauty? Sylphs and gnomes. 7. What literary style does Pope employ in the poem? Mock heroic. 8. What is the significance of Belinda's lock of hair? It symbolizes her beauty and social status. 9. What event causes a great deal of distress to Belinda? The cutting of her lock of hair. 10. What is the tone of the poem? Playful and satirical. 11. What social class does the poem satirize? The English aristocracy. 12. What convention does Pope mock in the poem? The conventions of epic poetry. 13. How does the poem end? With a reconciliation between Belinda and the Baron. 14. What themes are explored in the poem? Vanity, social status, appearance versus reality. 15. What is the role of the sylphs and gnomes in the poem? They protect Belinda's beauty and possessions. 16. What literary device does Pope use to elevate the trivial incident to epic proportions? Mock heroic style. 17. What does the cutting of Belinda's lock of hair symbolize? The disruption of social harmony. 18. What is the significance of the game of cards in the poem? It represents the triviality of aristocratic pursuits. 19. What is the overall mood of the poem? Satirical and humorous. 20. What is the lasting legacy of the rape of the lock? 
It remains a masterpiece of English literature, admired for its wit, satire, and skillful use of language.